Hello guys, this is your G Turn of the Game and welcome to an episode of Everdale. Guys, this is the perfect guide for boats and harbors in Everdale. Let's go. The boat in Everdale is one of the most important tools that you need to know if you are an elder and if you are a leader in order to help your valley and your village progress. Madeline, let's talk about the different uh, vendors, let's call them, in mm -hmm. the harbor. Let's start with Glimmering Dales. What can you tell us about the yellow boat? Yellow boat, or as you mentioned, Glimmering Dales, um, it's a special boat because it's giving you a lot of gold and it's very important for this boat and also for the other boats to complete the tasks in time it's possible, if possible, because in this way you will increase the relation level with this um, guy who is uh, leading the boat and in right. this way you will increase uh, by 5% every level, which means that you will win more resources, um, in this case gold. Right. If you are going on with the Highland Academy, we will bring you a lot of hearts and also uh, tokens which can be used after that in your um, great li library in order to increase your uh, research level. And as you can see here again, we are talking about relationship um, levels. In our case, we are at level three right now, yeah. which means that we have uh, with 10% more resources than level one. Exactly. Well, uh, what Madeline uh, mentioned, if you complete each task, it gives you more points into upgrading the relationship with this specific uh, person or captain of ship. And then if you complete the boat before the time runs out, you also get extra points. As you can see here for the sunflower from Glimmering Days, we have four more hours and 52 minutes to complete it in order to get more points. Then mm -hmm. the two other uh, boats, are more special than Highland Academy and Glimmering Dale. Iceberg Isles is a mixture between the two of them, Glimmering Dales and Hardware, um, Highland Academy, because it also gives you tasks for gold and it also gives you tasks for books slash hearts. If you increase further the relation with these guys, you get more, 5% more gold, hearts and uh, books. And maybe the most special out of all the three, all the four boats is Summery Woods. At the first glance, it's not different than I Iceberg Islands, but what I can tell you is that this Summery Woods boat is the fastest one. So after each ship comes into your harbor, you have a specific time in which you have to complete all the tasks. After the ti this time runs out, a cooldown time happens and after this cooldown time uh, finishes, then the boat comes again and Summery Wood is the boat that comes very, very often. So, as a conclusion, Madeline, if yep. your valley is very active, which boat should you summon? Go for the Summery Woods. You will see uh, exactly in this moment in our valley that we decided to, uh, to summon this kind of boat. It's a green boat. Uh, we are still working on our strategy, but if you are active in your valley, you must yeah. choose this boat. If you are active, but not very active, which boat should you use? I would go for the Iceberg Ice. Uh, ice. Okay, one yeah. more question. If you guys want to improve your village and to improve your um, um, houses, your buildings and everything, which one should you choose? The yellow one, of course. Glimmering Dales, yeah, because it yeah. gives you yeah. gold. <laughs> and if you want to uh, research more into the Great Library, which one should you use? The last one, the purple one from the Highland Academy. This is exactly. especially uh, when you are creating your strategy together with your members Correct. from the valley. It's essential to know that these boats are uh, a booster for you and for your yeah. for your teammates. For example, in our valley, but by the way, if you're an elder or a leader, you can change which boat you want in each dock. And for example, now we have the Iceberg Isles in both decks, so you can have in both slots the same boat. And for the premium uh, dock, we have currently the summary woods, but we will change also to Iceberg Islands. We will go into more details about the premium dock, but beforehand, I want to tell you that our strategy right now is to use Iceberg Islands for all the uh, docks, because even though we don't have everything researched into the great library, we see that already the level of our buildings in the valley is higher than the level of the buildings in each of our villages. For example, now we are struggling to get more bricks to upgrade the guilds and upgrade the, the um, buildings into the valley, but not all the members have the brickyard to produce bricks. So then we decided, let's go for Iceberg Isles, let's get more gold, let's get more hearts, let's get more books in 
equal proportions and try to upgrade our villages as well. And now, Madeline, it's your time yep. to shine. Tell us everything yep. you know about the premium docks. Yes, for the premium dock, as this, uh, as it's called premium, you have to pay something. In our case, you have to pay uh, gems, and I will go one by one through each boat to to, to mention uh, the, the extended duration and also the amount of tasks uh, and also the, the gems which you have to spend. Uh, for example, for the, gl the, the Glimmering Dales, uh, the extended duration is two days. You will have to complete 48 tasks and it will uh, cost um, 300 gems it's exactly the same for the for the purple boat yep. for um, highland academy but for ice uh, for iceberg it's a special boat it's the most expensive one 4050 gems but the expanded duration is four days, four days and also you will have to complete 72 tasks so yep. it's it's uh, very essential but we have to not forget about the the summary woods as cosmin mentioned previously if you are very active uh you and your teammates you have to choose this one because the extended duration is one day you will have to complete very fast 24 tasks and it will cost you only 150 gems and you can spawn another one as soon as this one ends and the cooldown period is over what is also to mention for this uh premium ship the gold and the hearts and the books that each task gives you is greatly improved 50 or 60 percent more out of each to which you add the relationship with uh, that specific captain and also on top of that if you finish uh, one boat a premium boat your relation with this captain will greatly increase it will increase more than it increases for the regular boat for example here if we finish this uh, great oak if all the tasks are done, you will gain 100 relation points. So 10 boats equal one level for summary woods, for example. And this is just an example to which you add each uh, reputation point, I mean, relation points that you get for completing each particular task. So this is everything you need to know about uh, boats in Everdale. We emphasize the fact that if you're a leader or if you're an elder, you can change the partners, but please discuss with your valley members, see what they need, whether they need gold, whether you need books in the library, whether you are pushing for hearts and so on, and decide together what would be the next boat to uh, yes. get. And on the other hand, when it comes to premium docks, if you have the possibility to summon ships for your team, for your village, uh, for your valley, sorry, do it. Everybody will appreciate, for example, now we have already one boat summoned by Madeline. You will have your name written down up there as the summoner of the ship. And also Stack 101 summoned already two Iceberg Isles boats. So 900 gems spent for the valley. It would be great if you have the possibility to spend money in the game to have some kind of a rotation between the valley members. So each of you would spend some gems uh, every four days you change the, um, uh, the summoner. So if you are nine people into the valley, nine, nine times four, so every 36 days, it would be your time to spend 350 gems. But of course, not everybody is willing to pay real money for the game. If you have this possibility to do it, if not, then it's just good for you to know. Madeline, anything before we finish the episode? Yes, uh, I want to mention that we are very close to reach level seven in our valley and we still have you uh, one free spot. So if you want to be part of our valley, please go not and yet, search but for we will not have yet. Now. In, yeah, now, in a couple of minutes. What? We have a free okay. spot. So if this <laughs> and, spot was yeah. not uh, yet um, occupied by the time we released this episode, here we yep. are. The name is CRG YouTube. Uh, don't forget about it. And also don't forget about the subscribe yeah. button, which is there. Go and yeah. smash it in order to not miss the future episode. You know what? I changed the minimum level to join to 10. So I guess not a lot of people will join yeah. because not a lot of people at level 10 will search for value. So if you see this episode now, search the valley maybe it's a free spot still for you to join. This was it, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like comment something down below because it greatly helps us reach more viewers due to the YouTube algorithm. Play Everdale and until next time guys, see you and bye bye. bye. bye.